previously on Trekking Along. We're climbing up the wildcats today. We just finished what mom would call a terrifying climb. Pretty much like walked our way up a rock face. Yes. A rock <laughs> so, wall wasn't even a rock it wall. Was straight up. So the wildcats are definitely no joke. Yeah, they're interesting. And I would not want to do that sobo. Mm -mm. No way would I want to do that sobo. It's supposed to storm this afternoon, so probably going to do like maybe like five miles to. Yeah. Like 30 minutes, so yeah, it's a long today. day. So five miles will equal all day to Carter Hut Notch, something like that. Carter Notch Hut, which we're not staying at. And they have tenting available. Sites, you know, within a mile of it, so we're gonna stealth. So, Thank you. going slow. This is literally a straight up climb. I had to be on all hands and knees. And this is the view we get while we're climbing. It's like, don't look behind you and keep your heads low. But this was not fun, that's for sure. We're almost there. I'm trying to get out of the way so they can have room. With backpacks, Sarah, careful, don't lean back. Good job, Rebecca. That was hard. Mm. I love the. I know. Yes, the trees are so nice. We just grab them and pull ourselves up. Good job, Sarah. <laughs> Mom, you're doing great. Like straight up, so there's not much to see. Thanks, Whose idea was this to put a trail rock climbing with know, full pack? The funny thing is, is that I used to be like, I want to do like rock climbing or bouldering. <laughs> you change your mind? I I, yeah, I didn't make it very busy. Oh my goodness. Like, you know, like, oh, a pack. But Washington is up there in a cloud. So it was basically the rest of the presidential range. And number two pencils coming, so it was Nightingale. We're all trying to figure out how to get up here. It's like straight up. It's like hands and knees climbing. My hands hurt from like gripping, the gripping rock everything as hard as I can. Climbing up. I don't even know if this is Wildcat or South Carter, but it, this is Wildcat D. Coming out of Pingum Notch, it is straight up this morning. All we've done is boulder, it feels like. But we're getting there, almost to the top. The gondola on Wildcat is running, and we're all like, can we ride it? That would be fun. We have made it to the top of Wildcat Mountain. We always do this. Yes. They thought I was going to take their picture and I was accidentally on video, so I thought, why not? <laughs> terrified part so I was never terrified. <laughs> I mean, it's so much fun. And number two pencil and nightingale oh, are two peop two benches ahead of us. So Guys, having a slight diversion to our day. Really? Mom, whatever your name is. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> fun times. Oh my god. We got distracted at the bottom of the hill. Oh, freak out, got it in! You win. Good job. 
fourth place. There's no. We're back on. It's official. We're back on. Heading back yes. up to hiking. We're hiking. We've been distracted long enough. We must go hike. Oh, there's a mountain to climb. I know. There is but a mountain to climb. No, even worse than climbing a mountain, we have to go down a mountain. It is beautiful up here, though. Can't complain. There's a blaze there. And I don't know if you can see it. Oh, wait. And there's a blaze right there. Yay, we get to climb some more. There's Washington off in the distance. We are coming up to the Carter Notch hut. And this lake right here is just beautiful. Good morning. We are back on the trail after having a great night in Gorham. Got resupplied, got laundry. More importantly, we got dried out. There is no footage from the last two days because it rained. And my phone stays in a Ziploc bag when it's raining. So it was a cold rain. We only did about eight miles both days. And the first day that it rained, we were in a shelter by like two o'clock. Um, it was just, everybody in that shelter was cold and wet and miserable. And it felt so good to change out of our dripping wet clothes. Because whose rain gear is actually still working at this point. Um, into dry clothes and get into your sleeping bag and shiver until you were warm. And then it just felt amazing. So, did that the first night. And then the next day we woke up, it was still raining. Um, hiked about eight miles into Gorham or actually to the road crossing and then got a shuttle into Gorham. But all the town chores got done last night. We were getting a late start this morning. Shuttle drivers were full because apparently we're in a bubble. So it is almost 11, probably done, I don't know, half a mile to a mile of road walking. Still have a little more road walking to do and we should be back in the woods shortly. But Hoping to do about 12 miles today. I don't know what the terrain is going to be like so far this morning. It's great. So we shall see what we get done. Looking forward to some good weather in the next couple of days. We are starting to see signs of fall. We're excited. True fall is a rarity for us. But we're starting to see so many of the leaves start to change colors and fall with all the rain we've had the last couple of days. So the trail is really pretty. All right, I kind of feel like at this point there should be confetti and streamers because this has taken us a while to get to, but what did we find? 1900. 1900 miles. It has been a while since we reached one of these. The whites drag it out, but I feel like we should celebrate because we're almost done. Let's celebrate with lunch. Woohoo! <laughs> Made it to the top of a pretty tough climb, but the view is just spectacular. That is gorgeous, and we probably climbed some of that. So we did not make it as far as we had thought, but as a result, we get to camp at Dream Lake. So we've got our tent set up on the side of a spur trail off the AT. And then we have a fantastic view of the lake and then Mount Washington and Mount Adams, which I'm going to see if I can get on camera. I don't think I can without falling down somewhere. Won't be able to get back up, but... Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. So, Mount Adams is the mountain right there, and Mount Washington is over there. So, cool to see the things we've already climbed. It's going to be a gorgeous night. So, 
the girls are just getting set up. Probably going to go fly less tonight since it's such a beautiful night and it's not supposed to rain. But these are not really spots, but they're going to be spots tonight. Good morning. We are out of camp and hiking up a slight incline through the woods this morning. Enough to get us all warm, so we just stopped to shed a layer. Because it was a little chilly when we got up this morning. But today, we go to Maine. We can officially say we have hiked from Georgia to Maine here later on today. So that is exciting. We were successful in making it to the top of Mount Success. Woohoo! And the clouds have finally lifted. We've been walking in fog most of the morning. That's a not so nice looking cloud, but it's not really supposed to rain today. We're claiming it. Coming! Yeah, unbuckle your pack. I can't embrace myself. Oh, uh. Don't worry, we're here for you. Okay, Mom, you video. I'm gonna see what can I can do for you. Okay. So, we're not always in love with the bog boards here in New Hampshire. This one, as you can tell, that Thumper is on, is very unsteady. There you go, baby. Good job. Oh, you don't look too bad. I don't look too bad. You don't, you don't look too bad. You're relatively clean. Very tough. My glasses got all I need my checking calls. I'm not Thumper with that much. Okay. Can I hand them? Okay, you're going to get them. Are um, we? Do you want me to put the camera in? I don't even know how to get my back up. All right, I'll take the camera. Okay, don't drop it, please. Oh, okay. This is so unstable. New Hampshire is just saying goodbye. Yeah. It's a little... Is little that your wet. first fall in New Hampshire? Wet. A little dampish. A little Just bounce. a little wet. I'm trying to bounce and put my on without falling. Do you want to come back on this one? Oh, no. This is the teacher taught her <laughs> Nine kills, like, where? What happened to y'all? Mine goes like through the long legs. bog boards. How many have you broke? Either five or six. Oh, <gasps> there was a vole. Oh, you saw a vole? Yeah. A vole? It's like a mouse without a tail. Oh, that's what anonymous. She kept saying, I thought she was saying vole. Vole, <laughs> vole. Oh, and everybody yeah, in my comments was like, she's saying vole. <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna. Are we gonna film and walk? Um, no, you're giving me my phone. Oh, that's disappointing. This looks sketchy. So we are officially at the top of Mount Success. I was premature earlier, but since the sun has come out. We've all decided to dry our tents. Nightingale's over there on that rock going to eat lunch and dry her tent. Emily's over here with part of her tent. I'm right going to sit here with part of mine. And my shoes. We won't talk about our two pencil at the moment. <laughs> what did we just find? It's officially here! I want to crawl. And we officially made it with Number Two Pencil and with Nightingale. Yay! Officially crossing. Of course, you have to walk through all the mud first because that's just been today. But, Maine! We've made it! Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We spent the night last night at, I'm reading the sign, Carlo Colonel Shelter, I think is what it's yeah. called. We did not make it very far yesterday, but. 4.4 miles short of our yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> we decided to stop early and have a decent arrival time rather than hiking until 7.30 or 8. Um, so, got settled in, had a good dinner, all the fun things. Today is... Big notch. So we're going to hike a little ways and then be through the notch. 
and then hopefully into town tomorrow. tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> we found a beautiful day. That is for sure. All these what appear to be lakes are actually just clouds. We're above them all this morning. It's beautiful. I know, isn't that gorgeous? And Maine has blazes. We're excited. Oh, that's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, Down there in that little valley is where we just came from. And now we're literally free soloing up some of these rock faces. Which way's safer? Just um, I, I think that's the way I went. Good job. Sketchy. Wait, really? <laughs> We're about to monkey climb up monkey all the rebar. Climb. So much fun! Mm. And apparently, Thumper has decided to go first. This is rock climbing without a safety harness, basically. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. Okay, okay, okay that, that looks more doable. Yeah, we got this. Okay, we're up against some rebar. Thumper leading the way, here goes freak out. Heave ho, heave ho. No one dies today. Oh, Y'all are encouraging, by the way. It gets worse. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Remember what I said yesterday. I need positive reinforcement. Yes. Still not sure about. Thank you. Thank you. That's what we want to hear at our age. This is totally doable. We're going to rock this. Oh, Sarah says your death will be quick. <laughs> <laughs> I really think Maine does not want us to get to Katahdin. This is absolutely so scary. You can't see the scariest part, but you have to climb this ladder. And it's basically straight up, and it's not fun. You have to do a little free-soling for that. Yeah, you have to do free-soling first, which no rope we have, so, you know, all dangerous. But, well, it's got a pretty view, but over there is where we were earlier, so I can come in. But, oh, here she comes. Good job, Rebecca. Yeah, <laughs> down a mountain and got to an alpine bog with no boards so everyone's kind of trying to stay out of the quicksand and blazing their own trail now wow. yeah it's a little painful Maine is full of mud and it's just like New Hampshire it's trying to kill you Maine is harder than New Hampshire so far I feel better because it's already dead. I know. If it's already dead, <laughs> step on it. <laughs> oh, you are brave. <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> Rebecca, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Like, it's one thing to walk through mud. This is mud that's like <laughs> thigh deep, so. Okay, it looks like you're um, <laughs> Clearly, nobody's going to walk through it. <laughs> it's like quicksand. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's gorgeous up here. It's just a little life threatening. <laughs> we haven't even reached the slowest mile on the AT, and I believe every mile so far has taken us an hour to get there. It's At been least. crazy. But in my opinion, do it. We're still on. in the water. Just go. Go, 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 go. Fight, fight, fight. Oh, oh, your, hot. your foot. What is... are you caught on? Oh my gosh. Mom, my cat. Oh, it's your back. I thought it was your foot. You're, it's going to like come back and pop you. Sister's going to free you. Boink. There you go. Wow. 
where did you step? <laughs> we can hear way up there on the rock face. We can hear Nightingale number two trying to come down. It was sketchy coming down there. It involves quite a bit of prayer to get down there. Um, your pack is stuck on the branch. I feel like that tree would be better serving us if it was just laying in the mud for us to walk on. Oh my gosh, no lie. Oh, that looks sturdy. Yeah, that looks quasi sturdy. Go for that. There you go. Yay! We're literally scooching down our butts on this rock. And there's a... Yeah, we're tried to crab walk as much as possible because there is a slight trickle flowing down this rock so it's wet and wonderful Annoying. yep so everything's sufficiently muddy today How about yeah mine was slightly damp too we love trees Rebecca please sit We are officially in the Mahusig Notch, yes. and we thought it would be a lot like a lot of this right now the entire time, but we actually had a section of smooth trail a minute ago. It's been some bouldering, but honestly, it's, cold. it's yeah, it feels like you're in a room with, with air conditioning because I guess all the rocks and the caves and stuff, but it's nothing more than what we've already done so far. We're just climbing. I'm going to put this away again probably in a minute because I do need both hands, but we'll film again in a second. We were trying to figure out where the trail went. It's just your water bottle you're here popping. But Emily found it down in there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, you want me to get down there and push it to you? We fit. It's just our packs don't always fit. The fun, the fun part has been when there's sobos coming and everybody's trying to get through the same little area. Oh, I have a pinched nerve in my back and this is really good. Sorry, babe. Make sure your phones are secured. We are momentarily out of the crazies and back on somewhat normal trail. We'll see how long it lasts. We're all trying not to cry because the trail was remotely flat. This has been the longest day and I think it's safe to say, yeah, I think it's safe to say none of us are fans of Mahusik Notch. Not after everything we've already done with the whites and main it so really far. It's been fun, except for the fact that we've been bouldering for hundreds of miles. So it's not even fun anymore, it's just annoying. <sighs> but we're done, almost. Almost done. We have just a little bit left to do. And... There's a campsite. We're hopefully going to find room for tents at. Not have to hike anymore today. Good morning, everybody. So last night we went through Mahusik Notch and we started at 2.30. We finished around 6.37. It took us exactly like four hours and six minutes. It took us forever. None of us liked it. It was not fun. Um, so we ended up spending the night at the campsite right after it. The original plan was to go to the shelter last night, so we would be four miles from town, but we didn't make it. We got to camp right at dark. Um, we made it out of the notch right 
as sunset was happening. Um, so thankfully we got out of there before it got too dark. But today we are going to town, which was the plan yesterday, which then turned out not happening. And then we we're supposed to be four miles from town today, which did not happen. So we're on like plan C. Um, but going to town today, hopefully find a place because so far we haven't found a place to stay yet. Everything's booked, so we will see what happens. We might just be going and going out, but I hope not because it might get dark when we get down there. But going to town, so we'll update y'all as we head down there. We we ran across. No, no, we went we went that way. <laughs> we took the path that everyone else does. <laughs> but oh my word, it's that pole is, is so deep. My whole pole could submerge. I'm gonna run over there. Are you serious? I'm gonna, no, that oh way. no no, this way's fine. It's just spongy. Holy cow! It's deeper than my pole. It's like four feet deep. That's what somebody said on comments. The ridge runner said four feet deep. And here comes Sarah. <laughs> you could walk, you know. <laughs> gets, like, Just came across Speck Pond, which is clearly Beavered. a beaver pond. Because every single one of those branches has beaver teeth marks on it. It was cute coming across there. <laughs> yeah, they've been gnawing. So. Beautiful lake though. Basically a rock scrambling. I've never bouldered so much in my life. It's so steep. Basically I'm on all fours all the way up here. And I still have to go up there. We're having lunch. <laughs> Woman a few words. <laughs> We are on our way into town and we have a waterfall. It sounds nice. And that's a nice swimming hole down there if it was not so cold. I suspect one or more of mine would be in that. This is our campsite for the night. It is massive and so nice. She's letting it dry. Next time on Trekking Along.